is this rugged cowboy swinging lazily from his iron horse in the shimmering early morning sun? Admittedly, northern Germany might not be known for its potent lone rangers, but when it comes to riding out stormy weather, and political thunderstorms in particular, then Luke, or Lucky Luke as he is known in these parts, is certainly your man. Notorious for shooting fast from the hip, albeit with unforgiving words as opposed to unforgiving pistols, he hunts mercilessly after one target, and one target only. Lucky Luke, the elected leader of the Alternative for Germany party, hates the Euro. We want to stop those political Euro rescue actions and break up the Eurozone. The Euro is dividing Europe instead of unifying it. We want to stop those multi-billion Euro payments in favor of southern European countries. Those payments are deepening the economic crisis there. Luke means business, and as the newly elected head of his party, he's already getting ready to ring the changes. Only founded in April, Alternative for Germany has already got 13,000 members and with 500 signing up every week, it is Germany's fastest growing political outfit. Moreover, these supporters are being scooped from right across the political spectrum. Luke himself is the epitome of this party stripped of labels. Having been a member of the centre-right Christian Democrat party for 33 years, he set off alone when they backed the Euro rescue. Only states which fit together economically should share the same currency. When it turns out that this can't be managed, or that we'll have to guarantee the debt of other states, then it would be better to return to national currencies and to reintroduce the Deutschmark. How lucky Luke actually gets depends on his ability to shift public opinion. Now, one in three Germans wants to return to the Deutschmark, while one in four have sympathy for the argument that the southern European debt burden will sink Germany in the future. If we abolished the euro now, the European Union would break down. Since the euro was introduced, everything's become more expensive. The euro makes people suffer. Um, we should keep the euro because it's good for external trade and Germany profits from it. The euro's heaped up too much debt. This never happened with the Deutschmark. Now Greece and those countries are bankrupt. As Germans, we don't have any advantage with the euro, really. No advantage at all. Other countries are just exploiting us. Personally, I'd be very happy to get the Deutschmark back. There's only one way forward, and that's on the common European path. We should walk together with the European Union. That's why the euro makes sense. Currently, only 3% of Germans are expected to vote for Luke's party in September's elections. But the lone shooter is confident this will stretch to two digits, such as their momentum. Even with less votes, they could still dislodge the government. A high-ranking university professor with a special interest in sovereign default, the real question is whether Luke wants to take down the European Union along with the Eurozone. The disbanding of the euro is not at all linked to our membership in the EU. We just need to change the treaties, fixing the right of each state to reintroduce its national currency again. This wouldn't call our EU membership into question, of which I'm very much in favor. I have a better understanding of the political consequences than the German government. Without leaving the euro, the southern European states are steering us towards an economic disaster. Due to the very high unemployment levels, especially for young people, we must fear a radicalization of the population in these states now. And I'm not sure if we can bet on democratic governments to continue to exist. The political pendulum might swing the other way. Maybe democratic elections could bring into power rabble-rousing populist extremist leaders there. In Frankfurt, the country's financial center, economists fear disbanding the Eurozone would be a colossal error. Being an export nation, Euro membership has clear advantages for Germany. 
and an over-evaluated mark would increase global competition for German companies, with recent studies predicting up to 200,000 job losses. Up until now, Germany has not lost a single cent, let alone a euro, from its bailout actions. An economic advisor to the government, Peter Boffinger, is adamant stepping out altogether would take the country down a ruinous path. Closing the Eurozone would be an enormous shock, creating insecurity comparable to the Lehman shock. It would trigger very significant negative effects for investors, change the economy and create enormous problems for the whole financial system. Lucky Luke might not like it, but Germany makes huge profits from its Eurozone membership. Low interest rates ease the public debt burden and the government saves up to 10 billion euros a year. To rescue the Eurozone, Bofinger pleads for fiscal integration and Eurobonds. We have to understand that the Eurozone is the most important market for German companies. If we want the southern European countries to get back on their feet again, we have to give them more time for consolidation and further input for economic growth. Eurobonds, common loans by Eurozone members, would grant time for consolidation and some financial breathing time. Und auch für mehr finanziellen Spielraum sind aus meiner Sicht Gemeinschaftsanleihen der Mitgliedsländer des Euroraums. Unsurprisingly, Lucky Luke hasn't exactly warmed to Boffinger's Eurobond solution. This would be cheating the German voters. When introducing the euro, decision makers promised not to accept liability for other countries' debt. Eurobonds would send completely wrong signals for fiscal behavior to other states. They'd spend money without keeping an eye on their income if they know that Germany or other solvent states will guarantee their debt. After slinging his gun at anything and everything Euro-related all day, Luke finishes with an election strategy meeting with other party members. Here, right and left-wing opinions crisscross the room, but the overall mood is distinct. Together, we the people will fight the Euro to save the continent. I've got the feeling that inside the Eurozone there's no harmony anymore, and for quite some time already. Today's coexistence isn't really peaceful, it's full of prejudices and resentments. And the reason for all this is the Euro, and the political rescue actions for it. Many people still don't understand the very meaning of a monetary union that it's a real straitjacket. You must be more or less similar in regard to your competitiveness, productivity, social systems, political culture, fiscal systems, level of corruption and so on. That's a must. To return to the promised land of pre-Euro Germany, Eurosceptics are calling for popular referendums on the country's monetary policies. And whilst this and the dismantling of the Eurozone in general might be a long shot at the moment, the Eurosceptics are potentially still strong enough to knock the current ruling order out their saddle. And come September's rodeo, you can bet your spurs Lucky Luke will be doing everything he can to unbalance them. <laughs>